Now moving to the Ashanti region, a 16-year-old girl has died and several others injured after rainstorm wreaked havoc in Jache in the Busum Tree District. The storm, which occurred last week, wrecked off the roofs of over 50 houses and other structures, leaving parts of the community without electricity. City's regional correspondent have his Tijani reports. Charles Osaitutu, a distraught father, recounts the circumstances leading to the death of his 16-year-old daughter, Abina Ofoda. So, Nyavi, the rains, accompanied by strong winds, caused significant damage to buildings in the Jati community, displacing many residents and resulting in several injuries. To rent a mozzie that here, Miss McKitchen, a boo. Ama, Yamanko, me feed me dear milk, Pierre, and a boo, and a chance in Yamit Sham, and my kind Tinucra, and Zunyamia drum, medical hospital, ma, or Pamoy. As residents await assistance from the government following an assessment by officials from the National Disaster Management Organization, they are working. To repair their buildings. Then they all of a sudden, you know, you hear them. You hear two year cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. I've been a chance in one day if you, and in the real more fa. And I'm taboning in a giddy cream. Never in a bugu. They are down on the day. They say, I suffer. Yet they're moon in a sweet in a dinner down. And he am a buy more. MP. The rainstorm also damaged electricity poles, causing power outages in some areas. Residents and businesses are urgently appealing for power to be restored. Me ka to me sell at this from mo made an mo me am wane. Na mo me me trust mo so ashi. Do mo me am wane mo me emergency. E tra mo awada roma. Ti de hu preoccupation say light pools no abu na beto from na transformer na tutu pom. E na pole na wa no so mo apai. E ti free one no pole no da from electricity form wa ho. E ti free e fear dan be si ne ye ni light. Ti yes ramo sa mo mra me bo yesa. The Busum Tree District Assembly is taking steps to support the victims. District Chief Executive Joseph Esumin told City News that his office is collaborating with the Electricity Company of Ghana to restore power to the affected areas. Where we are with them, we are going to do whatever we can to help them alleviate their hardships in these trying times. Miss, oh, ECG, ECG is still working on it. You know, it's quite tricky because there is power. And if you're not careful, you connect. There might be further implications. So they are very careful not to cause another have work on the people. So they are working on that. And I'm sure very soon power will be restored to all places. So they should be patient. They are working on them. So far, it's, it's a, uh, about 60 houses were affected. Yeah, 60 plus were affected. And about 6, 70 persons were also affected. While affected residents repair their damaged buildings, the bereaved family of the 16-year-old girl continues to mourn their loss. Although the victims are appealing for support from the government, they have begun fixing the damaged roof of their buildings. They are, however, calling on the electricity company of Ghana 
to restore power in this community. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Jachi, Ashanti Region.